Alex Answer here, 5.30 in the morning. A couple thoughts. Today I woke up at 2.30. There was some sort of an altercation with uh, a couple young black men outside the RV. And it appeared that some of them were older or larger than one of them. It almost seemed to be a, a gang initiation. He seemed to know them as he screamed, no nigga, no nigga. Um, he pushed them and then one guy said something like, Oh, you want to fight again? They're trying to get him out of there like they all came as friends. And there was some sort of an altercation where the big guys beat up the little guy. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, again, this is a reflection of the day and age that we live in, the violent society. Whatever race it is, you know, this, this idea of hierarchy, and it, it does exist within human biology. And people that are unevolved, go about their lives getting pleasure from hooking up with others that like to hurt others and then bringing people into their gang and people joining that type of weird lifestyle. So that was here in Alamosa. I'm at the park here in downtown. Been walking for hours, thinking about things, got out of the sauna. I did a video talking about the health benefits of that. That's why I remain in Alamosa. But it's a weird place. I can feel the energy, honestly. I, I was walking back at five o'clock in the morning, about a half hour, maybe a little bit longer. And a car pulled over and stopped and a guy got out. And I'm walking in the darkness, but the guy goes, hey girl, thinking I'm a girl. Now he can't see me, I'm in the darkness. And right before he got in his car, I go, I ain't no girl. I got the vibe, there are some people out here hunting for women. You know, and I moved here to get away from Portland because in Portland there's a lot of that going on. And you know, a lot of single males are not trusted. So there's a reason why I've been trying to go off the grid for a while. So I've been staying in Alamosa to go to the gym, stay uh, healthy, while I uh, figure out where I go from here. And now I'm starting to see that, you know, they got a weird twilight, you know, reality at night. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night, ha, ha, ha. And no joke, man, when all that was going on in the RV, there's a couple something I would have grabbed for. Couldn't find it. All I can find was my big knife. I ain't gonna go out there with a big knife. I let the police know. They were there in less than a minute. It's good to know. Hey, Alamosa PD, your response time, less than a minute. Boom. That was like, boom. And it was like, turn right. There they were. You know what? Let me tell you the oddities of this. I don't have a cell phone, really. But the cell phone that I did have was just turned on like the day before yesterday. And all of a sudden this happened, they were going to pick this guy up and put this guy in a car. And all of a sudden, I had a phone in my hand. And I was able to call the police. Which led me to other thoughts that I was thinking about tonight that I wanted to speak more about. You know, people hate all police. Some people don't see that some police do their job and are there for a reason. But it's unfortunate that we're not a society where people know each other anymore where people rely only on the police, where the government has the monopoly on protection, where people rely on their cell phones. Yes, I see the cell phone was a tool and I was able to use it and perhaps stop a situation from getting worse. And perhaps some of those men were held accountable for whatever the fuck they did to that guy. They fucked some younger male up that was a part of their tribe, much younger and smaller. Who knows how young? They could have been high schoolers. The fact of the matter is, everything happens for a reason. And the cops found those guys in less than a minute. I mean, that was too perfect. From me being there and the phone, just like that. And this was going on for a while. See, there's a lot of young people out there that have become really arrogant. And while we have some people that are being suicidal, they wanna go suicide by FBI, and they're being caught up into these fake protests. You have the younger generation and the world that they're being pulled into and darkness and Grand Theft Auto and go chase and beat up a prostitute, hit her upside the head and they're being exposed to all this violence and violent propaganda and war, being groomed for the military, violent pornography studies they're doing on women, young girls coming across the stuff on the internet, what it's doing to their brains. Something's happening to the human species. And it doesn't matter where I go in America, I see in all these small towns. Why would people want to push us off the grid? 
back into the grid, out of Costilla County, like we're real criminals. Does that sound like a good use of police resources? Isn't it sad in this day and age, we're seeing this war on off the grid living and people are trying to escape these problems of the grid and they're pushed back in the grid and they can see how things are getting worse, even in smaller towns. And the people go, oh my God, there's a big heroin problem here. Antonito News is talking about it on Facebook, like multiple times. Like people snapped at me when I made a point out of it. You know, right? I noticed there's something weird about this. It was like four months ago. That sign in Alamosa says, stop the heroin and meth. And I, and I talked about how places that are suffering from lots of, uh, lots of their people doing drugs, the spiritual sickness over that area, it's not a good sign when you have that going on. Because ultimately there's a reason why people use and self-destruct. It stems from another source and place. Something's missing in their soul. Something's missing in their lives. I've seen it. I've seen it in Oregon. I can recognize it. I can see it. And it's hard to watch, but it's a part of my experience. This experience of finding Zen anywhere. Here I am doing a video. I'm cold. I've been walking for hours. I haven't had my breakfast, but I've been practicing a healthier way of life in an environment that apparently is affecting other people in a adverse way. I have come here and I'm living in an RV, no one else is here that I can see doing the same thing, living the same lifestyle. Some people are afraid to have me on their property because of retaliation from Costilla County. So that's kind of in my past. Costilla County is in the rear view mirror. But looking forward, I have been looking forward. And I've been spending my time here in the largest city in the SLV trying to find my way and in doing so I am seeing uh, aspects of the sickness of society right here literally right outside my RV literally a gang style beatdown right outside my RV and hours later somebody going hey baby hey baby oh my god I said that guy <laughs> you say hey girl <laughs> he then got in his car you know what Kiff Davis, my friend back in Portland, you were right when you told me to get bear mace. You were right. You just can't rely on blunt objects. There may be a situation where there's multiple guys and you got to spray them. Another thing for self-defense purposes that came to mind tonight, a really good spotlight. When you have someone in the shadows that doesn't want to be seen, you get that mace ready, you get that spotlight on them, then you can see what you're dealing with. I'm Alex Ansari signing off from Alamosa, Colorado. Valentine's Day, I love you. February 14th, 2016. Alex Ansari here coming to you from another place in the city of Alamosa. This is the Wonka Vista Park. I don't see a single sign there that says no overnight parking. So that's pretty cool. However, no honey, no swimming, no boating and no skating. It's been a eventful afternoon and morning. We got the sun coming out. It is a, uh, a beautiful uh, Sunday. I was able to get my RV moving, which was kind of an issue, uh, you know, because of the weather and from, you know, wear and tear, spark plugs, this, that, and the other. Yeah, the RV was having some serious trouble starting up and uh, a mouse got inside the uh, uh, compartment where the, um, the air filter thing is and built itself a nice little bed and started chewing on the wires. And so fortunately I was able to replace that with my hands and just cut off one piece and just stick the other tube on there. So the RV is still running. Uh, we got gas at 167, so you know, I'm definitely keeping my options open as far as going somewhere else outside of Alamosa. Like I said, I uh, got myself a gym membership and that has helped me stay healthy with the saunas and workout. Already I'm feeling a major, you know, change in my health, my energy levels, my skin appears more moist. I think it was a lot drier before. So the saunas are really having a positive effect. So I've been practicing Zen in the art of being in a state of peace wherever I am in the RV. 
but it's worth it to invest in the gasoline to move the RV to better places once an area becomes stale, if you will. You know, once one becomes, um, especially if you're sensitive like me, you know, once you start to feel the vibes of the area, you know, and you start to feel the fact that people know that you're there, then, then it usually signals a time to move on to better and brighter horizons. You know, I could probably could walk over some of this. There we go. But no skating, no skating. Of course, I could walk over there and fall right in. So yeah, no ice fishing. Don't get carried away, folks, that freedom stuff. Uh, I've met a few people in Alamosa that are aware of Costilla County's uh, Warren Off the Grid Living, so that's good. So uh, this is Blanca Vista Park in Alamosa, Colorado.